Good afternoon and welcome to Lillishaw National Sports Centre. And if this match lives up to what we saw yesterday, we're in for a cracker. Had an absolutely incredible game yesterday and well we've got what promises to be an excellent game today it's the under 15 playstation fc schools cup final between ivy bridge and wade deacon school as the teams are warming up they'll be kicking off in about nine minutes or so chance to look through the two teams Uh, conditions out there as you can see a little bit wet but it's nowhere near as wet as it was yesterday yesterday was definitely uh, very dismal and uh, the, the ball was very heavy on the pitch uh, I was commentating on the nine aside game and the under 12s match of course uh, age groups are a little bit uh, upside down here because these matches are all delayed finals from approximately six months ago so um, there's no, um, there's obviously no games that have, uh, where a lot of the kids will actually be outside their age group.
Just looking through the details here of the two teams. And uh, there's been some big wins. Nine rounds of competition. So this is the 10th round, which is quite incredible. Six rounds of 64. So we're looking at over a thousand players who have a thousand teams who have entered this competition and for these two to have made it all the way into the final is something quite exceptional. West Deacon, they did get a buy in round one but a victory over West Derby School in the second round, 2-1 away victory, that's a big match in itself. Competitive games throughout St Hilda's Church of England High School in round three, they Wade Deacon won 6-1. I think it was another 2-1 away victory at the Manchester Grammar School. St Francis Xavier's College, a 2-1 victory away again in round six. A 3-2 extra time victory of a Clivero Royal Grammar School. And then in round eight, the quarter-final, Wade Deacon winning away at West Park School, 2-1. And a 4-1 home victory in the semi-final over King James's School. With uh, Wade Hodgson and Kai Jones. I do apologise if Kai's name was spelt wrong earlier, whether it's a K or a C. I'm seeing a, um, a K on here, but I think it is a, I think it is a C, the usual spelling. But Kai Jones getting two and Will Hodgson getting two in that semi-final victory. But one thing noticeable there is all the matches were way deep and all very, very tight and competitive. It was Ivy Bridge, well, they had a couple of big wins earlier on which I was mentioning round one a 10-1 victory over All Saints Church of England Academy 17-1 victory over Tavistock College away as the teams are just getting their final final discussions and chats in round three it was a 2-0 victory over Penguin College and round four a 7-0 home victory over Millfield School I don't think you see Millfield School getting a uh, Big uh, beating like that very often and well known for their sporting prowess. It was a 2-1 victory over Beach and Cliff School. Another, t another school with a lot of sporting endeavour behind them. Then a 3-1 victory at Torquay Boys Grammar School in round six. 3-2 extra time home victory over St Peter's Catholic High School. And in round eight, an 8-1 victory at a quarter-final, 8-1 over Dorothy Stringer School. Phenomenal performance there. there. And in the semi-final against Redbourne Upper School and Community College, near null at full-time, went to penalties and ended up 3-2 on penalties. So what a, what a fascinating time. And here you see both teams having a good... Uh, Discussion, the darkness is starting to descend. It's one of those days, the clouds are in and out. Our referee is Ian McGuinness. Paul Wilcox and Tom Wilson are the assistant referees. And Roger Andrew is the fourth official. Must also give a nod to the, the coaching staff here as well. Mr D Leonard is the team manager and the coach, Mr T Wynn for Ivy Bridge. Wig Deacon, Matthew Campbell is team manager and Michael Vernon is the coach. And you just see a uh, little mobile cameraman there. Ezra's just having a little wander out. He's going to get a good shot here of uh, the referee's time cost. Well done, Ezra. Oh, we've got a still picture after all that. <laughs> well, it went one way or the other. So we're ready to go here. So final huddle. And it's going to be two halves of 35 minutes in this under 15 PlayStation Schools Cup final here. My name's Adrian Battersby. Very welcome for this game. A few players who uh, have got a, some good experience as well with, with league teams out there on this pitch. 
expect a really high quality game when you've got two over 2,000 teams enter the competition and you get to the final well you know that's going to be something special don't you the referee Ian McGuinness checks with both goalies and we are ready to go the Ivy Bridge in the Manchester City colours going left to right. Throwing his right below us. Really difficult when you've got a camera so close to the pitch. Click on. And uh, first goal kick up a match. Of course, this is a final that was long delayed from last year. Uh, of course, these uh, games are all usually played at uh, professional stadiums. But of course, uh, due to COVID, a lot of delays. That's a beautiful ball forward, and goalie does well there. Uh, so the defender does pretty well there just to get a foot in. That was uh, number eight, Harry Hodgson. Uh, sorry, for Blues. Jacob Smith, the captain. Well, there's certainly goals in the offering here. Just looking down, the uh, top goal scorer for Ivy Bridge, Callum Merry, number seven. That corner's into a dangerous position, but no reds on the end of it. It was cleared by Ivy Bridge well. Now coming on the counter, looking to play the ball over the top. But Harry Jeffrey there was hitting the ball too long. Two minutes gone. Early days, of course. Nice football from Ivy Bridge again. Nice little triangle passes. Throw in, and that's going to be a, a throw right in the corner. Yes, Ivy wins. Wade Deacon in the red. That's it. Long ball forward, but the flag has gone up for offside. Yes, sir. Well, uh, Ivy Bridge, Merrin, uh, top scorer, Callum Merrin, 15 goals, scored 52 goals in total, so just under, an average of just under six a game. Alex, 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 Alex,
Yeah, very proud of their football academy at Ivy Bridge. You players have uh, gone through their books over the years. Here's uh, Lucas Stant, who's got a bit of a long throw there, and here's a half opportunity. And Will Hodgson, oh, what a shot that just missed the far corner. What an attempt that was. Have a look at this again. Oops, no, we won't. <laughs> That's the long camera. We'll have a look at that again in a second when the ball next goes out. But what a what a chance that was. Hodgson ball just didn't run for him. But he broke free again. Let's have another look here. Here's the ball to Hodgson. He just hit his side, but well, great skill there from Callum uh, from Kai Jones. We were mentioning him earlier. He's probably one to watch out for. Certainly a long throw again from the number five stand. Kai Jones scored two goals. But those two players uh, scored all four goals in the semi-final for Wade Deacon. <laughs> but they certainly got goals with him and we saw them both hunting there. That was very close to being a wonderful opener. For Wade Deacon. It's a good ball through. Marion Hunting down there. Both teams look as if they've got goals in them, don't they? Nice control. Yes, yes, yes. And, uh, well, the referee's saying nothing going there. Looked like a bit of a foul there. Hodgson. There's Musa. Goes out left to Hooley. And here's the dangerous Hodgson yet again. Turns inside. Full control. Just letting... I think that was uh, Jones there down, and the referee will give a free kick. Well, a good old fashioned shoulder charge not being allowed by a referee there. Back in the day. <laughs> so, free kick. Andrew Soden. Gives that a big kick up field. There's a good kick from uh, actually the position where it was. Two really good football teams out there, you can see. Already it's so apparent there, yeah. Of course, it's been quite strange. A lot of these teams have not had enormous amounts of practice. Lovely turn there. Tom Jones again. Jones finds Hodgson. Those two linking in constantly. Connor McHugh was further forward, but didn't get the ball to feet as he wanted. Some real big challenges going in here. Some real gusto out on this pitch. There's no holding back for this national final. Both teams. I've played a well incredible number of matches to get here. How amazing to think that there's for every player in your position there's another few thousand 
we didn't make it through. These two teams representing the whole of a country. What a ball that is. Here's Memin again, who's always looking dangerous. I really like this player. He's, uh, he's always sniffing for the gaps, looking to get in behind the defence. Certainly one that to watch for in this match. Here's a corner. Well, one at the back post. Nice play. Taylor Davy looks for Merrin again, who's always always available. Nice switch across. Here's Smith, the captain. Looking for the gap inside. And well cleared out there by Hooley. Jamie Ball. Misplaced pass though. And Wade Deacon. Look for the counter. Alfie Maver. Love it, Rudy. Love it. Oscar, Oscar. Can't run it. Oh, right there. The referee's going to give a free kick there for a little pull. And this is a quite a threatening place here to have a free kick from. Look like the left back. So we've got. Uh, the strong left footer here coming up all the way across. Matty Hooley. He's going to fancy himself. The goalkeeper's only gone for two in the wall. So he must be confident that uh, referee needs to mark his... I don't know why he's walking at an angle like that, but usually they walk towards the goal. He's he's completely put the players off as to where they should position. Yeah, that's, that's the straight place. Well, only two in the wall. So it's inviting Hooley to have a go, which he does. Hits it in with the right foot. There's a flick and what a save. Hodgson there, uh, thought he'd scored. I'll have another look at that. Here's the counter. Oscar Lou Price. Misplaced. McHugh gets in ahead. 
of Rudy Sharp. That's a what a ball from McHugh, and it hits the crossbar. Oh, that's the ball of the match. What a cross that was from the left wing from McHugh, and well, incredibly, it's still nil nil. Kai Jones here. He's pretty much on his own at the moment. You've got to do it yourself, Kai. Sorry, not Kai Jam. Callum Merrin. <laughs> I, just, I was just thinking Kai Jones is uh, at the other end, but, well, we'll wait for the ball to go out and have a little look. Hey, come on, it's not going off for us, wet. <laughs> Heard well from Lucas Dan. Hobson looking to get on the end of this, but lay back one, and now the Ivy Bridge counter attack. That's a strong challenge from Tierney, the captain. It's control, but the player says carry on. Here's Hodgson again, who's he's all over the place. Really getting involved in midfield, but long distance shot in these conditions. And well, 15 minutes in, three big chances for Wade Deacon. Of course, based uh, in the Liverpool area. That one stayed in. coaches you can just hear uh, let's get their team uh, a bit more revved up brilliant location here pictures are absolutely beautiful I was here a few weeks ago this is the, the place where the successful England World Cup squad from 1966 trained away from anybody the header there well we might get a chance to have a little look at a couple of chances here now because here's the uh, here's the first one free kick hitting with the right foot there's the flick and great save from Soden that was chance number one and then well here's the second one here's Hodgson back in his own half what a ball this is to McHugh and uh, well, you think here McHugh's got it all on. Nice little flick through the legs, and what a ball this is. That has got to be the ball of the match. And well, it was uh, Ty Jones on the end of it. Straight against, smacked against the crossbar. Ping ball from distance, which of course on this surface will will zip along. But the uh, Little Show Pavilion in the background there. I think uh, there's a fair few people getting hot cups of tea in between. It's uh, it's not exactly warm out there. Got to be said, it's not your traditional football finals weather. Again, Ivy Bridge just goes a little bit wrong, doesn't it, when when it goes up. Yeah, 
Again, that was Toby Morgan. And the ball is too far ahead. He's just going to be a bit messy. Again, Hodgson, who's been a great player, sort of real link player. The traditional sort of Spanish number 10, isn't it? They, like the, they love the number 10s in South America. That's the playmaker, and Hodgson's managing to do that ball. A little bit of fortune here for Hodgson, who manages to get through a challenge. So he plays in Hodgson. Uh, Harry Hodgson to Will Hodgson. Apologies there. I really need to say first names, don't I? Two players, uh, same surname on there. Wade can come forward. Here's McHugh. Cleared away by Jacob Smith, the captain, who's wearing number eight, but he's definitely a sweeper. Ten to half. Musa goes back for his centre half, Tierney, the captain. Tierney goes route one to kill himself out of danger. He's definitely getting a bit of hassle from his opposing player. We have uh, three more days of matches here. There's mat matches going on for quite a, a few weeks, actually. But uh, a good spell of five days of games. A few have been called off, I'm afraid, due to COVID and the new restrictions that are in place. Of course, uh, school sport, one of the few uh, things that is sort of permitted still at the moment, thankfully. Alfie Mather. With the goal kick. 20 minutes gone and what's well, been a thoroughly enjoyable final here at Lillishaw. Well, Callum Merrin is, is quick but not that quick. You see uh, other matches going on around here. Four games on at the moment. All being streamed live on the SFA YouTube channel. And there will be a man of the match also on the Twitter, on the school's FA Twitter handle. We'll be picking two players from each side. Really long kick from that distance. Of one of the things over the years, of course, it's changed a lot. Is the balls are getting lighter and lighter. It's much easier to hit these. Also, much more difficult to control them, of course, especially in these sort of conditions. The players are doing well. Marion just loses out. This place pass from Wade Deacon. A real price. Marion on the left. Just couldn't keep that in again. The speed of the ball across this surface. The uh, nine side pitch was quite heavy yesterday, I was noticing, and the ball was stopping there. But this one has definitely uh, been manicured pretty tightly, and that ball is zipping. Bit of football tennis. Wade D can come out on top and give it away straight away. The real price. Out to Merrin. Merrin always looking to see if he can play a forward pass. Here's Morgan. And he's appealing for the corner but doesn't get it. Referee's not having that. And Lucas Stan. Here's his line. He's quite pleased about that. Well, it was only a. I looked at the weather forecast, it was only a 19% chance of rain. But, um, of course, the pessimist in you always thinks that's really going to mean a much higher percentage. And here we are, the rain is coming down just slightly, though. It's not as bad as it was yesterday. Well, Wade Deacon have a, managed to get the ball up to their front players, and well, the referees 
looking to have a word here for a reckless challenge in the back. I can't tell if there's, there's a yellow card being given there. Uh, the cameraman. I think it was just a. Well, yes, yellow card was dispatched because you just saw the uh, book going back in his pocket. We'll have to uh, give our cameraman a little talking to at half time for missing that. I can't blame him. He's quite a good cameraman. He does cover football league matches every Saturday, so he should know what he's doing. I'll have a word. That uh, opportunity wasted, but the ball's been won back, and here's a chance. And, well, the first half chance for, for Ivy Bridge here. So we'll just see this again. The initial free kick wasn't particularly special, but the ball lost out there by James Musa, and there's the shot on goal. I think the keeper would have probably had that if it had been lower, but he was appealing to his defence there as to why would they given the ball away so easy. Mayfair just having a bit of trouble. Oh, it's an opportunity now. Kai Jones goes across. The ball's gone loose. McHugh's trying to get on the end of it. And we'll have a corner. First corner of the match for Wade Deacon. And one there by the number 11, Ethan Chu, but going wide. Well, a few of the matches are getting close to finishing. I can hear some cheers in the distance. Somebody scored a goal somewhere. So far, goal is here. Solid challenge from Jack Tierney. Although this, of course, is the under-15 PlayStation Schools Cup final, we most of these players will be. Uh, well, I suppose you could say half of them will be older uh, than this age group category now. But they have kept the, the squads together. They've kept the squads together for to play this final. It's been great to see, and of course, it's only going to be a few weeks' time that the actual 2021 competition will be up and running. The referee has given uh, given a goal cool kick there. No oh, apologies, the throw. Okay. There was a batter with a corner flag. Uh, well, well fixed there. The SFA officials sorting out all these little niggles here and there. Clicked on by Wood, but. Again, it's just the final ball without Ivy Bridge. And now Wade Deacon. Great ball from Harry Hodgson. There's Will Hodgson. He loses out as the darkness descends even more. There's still, it is still only half past three in the afternoon here, but it's very dark and dismal out there, I've got to say. Hey, 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 hey,
Kai. Taylor, Ivy Bridge throw. Five minutes to go in this first half. It's suddenly had chances. It's the Batis and the ball out there for Wade Deacon. Taylor David with the throw. Here's Merrin. Merrin puts in a dangerous ball. The goalkeeper was certainly floundering there and needed his defender to clear the ball away. Oh, the chance there. Merrin again. Nice skill from Merrin. Wade Deacon happy to just clear their lines. See a little bit more rain starting to come down. A few little drops on the lens here. At Little Shaw. It's been. Good afternoon of football here on this pitch number three. Brilliant ball there. Kai Jones. It loses out and Ivy Bridge again clear their line but just can't get a foot on the ball up front Will Hodgson Will D can go backwards what a ball that is call to deliver from Hooley So if you're uh, hearing a little bit of language out there, apologies, uh, uh, these players obviously under a little bit of stress. Got swear word now and then. And, uh, well, Lucas Dant, who's been putting these long throws in again, manages to get it to the edge of the box. Here's a, here's a chance. Ball's gone free, edge of the box. And can't be converted. And the long throw causing a bit of trouble at the back for Ivy Bridge. Another half chance. Just don't. Ball just didn't land at the foot of a Wade Deacon player there. Here's Merrin. Zabatis just to deal with that see how many pitches there are there in the distance there seems to be far too many goals for the actual amount of grass that's there but there's uh, there's different types of pitches and I was here a few weeks ago Wolverhampton Wanderers were having their under 23s training here Brilliant facility for football training. Feels from Leroy Price. Merrin's going to have a chase there with Zabatis. Nice skills from Merris from Merrin. Zabatis was uh, half expecting that move and. Was able to cut it out. The real price. Certainly, the, the energy from the players here is making it difficult, especially with the ball being as wet as it is in these conditions. Stamp with the long throw again into Ivy Bridge's half. To the final minute of this first half, it's flown by. You wouldn't say there's a, been a chance where you felt that the 
player should have scored, but there's been a number of half chances, and that's a great ball over the top. And there was um, Toby Morgan trying to get on the end of that. Here's a chance. Here's Memin. Memin. Oh, and blocked at the final second. Morgan crosses it up, brings it back across, manages to keep it in play. Real good chance there for well, Ivy Bridge as well. Hi Jones goes in and here's Will Morgan looking to receive from McHugh. Referee's given the free kick and played quickly. Ref doesn't want that. We are into additional time here. I don't think there's, I don't think there's been a single stoppage actually. So I would imagine, as the ref checks his watch, this is the last move of the game. I don't think there's been a single stoppage for an injury. So maybe the purists out there will be saying that the whistle should be blown now. There's a. Uh, Tends to happen. Officials will give them uh, one last attack. It's a good ball across. Oh, what a chance. What a chance. And that was Jack Tierney in at the back post. Oh, incredible. Let's look at this again. Here's the free kick from McHugh, who's obviously he's got sweet left and right feet. Sorry, that's Will Hodgson with the left foot. Free header. And, well. In fact, they're appealing for, uh, for a corner kick. They're convinced it deflected off somebody on the way. The whistle still hasn't gone. Unless I've got my uh, information incor incorrect here. And this is uh, 40 minutes. We are, uh, we are continuing. Oh, and Jones nicks this one. Plays it through to Will Hodgson. Turns inside, looking for support. Back to Harry Hodgson. Right now, Wade Deacon is just pulling the players aside. Here's Hooley, the left back, who's come up again. And throw is given to Wade Deacon. Still, whistle not gone. 37 minutes, maybe it is a 40 minute each way, we'll, we'll find out shortly. Just looking, this is the first time that Wade Deacon have progressed past the last 32 of this competition. Offside given there on the goal kick. I am uh, told by one of the SFA officials that this is a 40 minute game, so. as uh, possibly anticipated. Apologies for that. It's bad information on my uh, booklet here, but we've certainly got another couple of minutes now at least. Oscar Mario Price will take the corner, floated in on the edge of the six-yard box. As some tall players for Wade Deacon who clear that out and the referee a blow for the free kick a nice sporting gesture Oscar, 
<laughs> the Avi Bridge player says, how is that a foul? I think, uh, I think he had a point from this angle. Oh, yeah, miscontrolled the ball and uh, fell over and well, managed to get a free kick. Will Hodgson. And uh, the goalkeeper's putting a two-man wall in here from this distance. I don't think uh, Hodgson's going to be having a shot here. I think those players are probably better. Oh, referee said stop a second. And the Reds will go again. I think the referee was still measuring the ten, the ten yards. So he hadn't okayed. I'd still be not sure about having a wall at all here. It is, uh, it is man for man along the edge of the box. Uh, the way Deacon, well, he has decided to go for it. And well, we're 40 minutes on the clock. That is definitely half time after all that speculating. Oh well, what a game it's been. It might say nil nil. But those of you out there, but well, it has been thoroughly entertaining here in this ESFA under 15 PlayStation FC Schools Cup final. And as we get the opportunity, let's have a little look at uh, just the highlights of this first half. Early on, you can see the clock in this corner of the screen here. Here's a four minutes in. That one miscontrolled slightly by Hodgson, but. Well, Kai Jones picks that up, and that is a fraction. There's a couple of players to his left, actually, wanting the ball to be played in. Here's Hooley, who's got a good left foot, obviously. Well, his right foot delivered this time. And there's the flick from Harry Hodgson, goalkeeper. Andrew Soden makes a, a superb save there. It was pretty much Wade Deacon, who had all, most of the play in this first half. And this was my favourite move. This is... Uh, Connor McHugh and well we've seen him hit it with his left but what a ball this is with his right and Kai Jones smacks it against the crossbar that was a superb play really enjoyed watching that Ivy Bridge didn't have many chances and this one looked to have gone away but Lou Price manages to intercept here and there's a half chance coming up just a fraction over the bar and uh, well, you thought that was maybe as good as it was going to get for Ravi Bridge. Here's uh, another opportunity from uh, Stan to long ball in. And it's Will Hodgson. Sorry, Harry Hodgson now hits it. Will Hodgson is hunting on the edge. And the ball is eventually cleared. This is probably Ivy Bridge's best chance. Lovely ball in from Merrin, getting it in over the top. Morgan looking to hunt it down. Looks like. It was cleared, but it's not over yet. A miss kick there from Hooley. And here comes Jacob Smith and Merrin. I think uh, he was trying to pass that into the corner. He's uh, a man who's got a number of goals to his name. And in the end, that came to nothing. And then right at the very end here, the referee just marking the wall. Not sure if uh, the goalie might rethink those players in the wall there but a free header you could see that there was an overlap man on the edge and that's half time here at uh, Lilla Short we'll be back for the second half very shortly
Here we go for oh, the second half and it's under 15 PlayStation PlayStation Schools Cup final. Wade Deacon in the red kicking from right to left. And Ivy Bridge School in the sky blue colours, Manchester City colours you could call them I suppose. Minute halves, as uh, just mentioned earlier, there's Kai Jones. You can see a substitution. Noah Maund is on the number 12 for Ivy Bridge. It's good to give a few of the players a, a run out. And Ivy Bridge not happy with that decision from the referee. 
Yeah. 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 A little opportunity here, but it's Harry Hodgson who's won the debate. Had a little chat there with Jack Tierney, the tall centre half, who's come up for it. One of the tallest players on the pitch. Might be looking to get on the end of this one. It's being flicked across. Here's a chance, and the goalkeeper punches it against Kai Jones. It's a long, long ball down. Referee gives Ibrovic a free kick, much to the disdain of the Way Deacon team. of way Deacon players right on the end of that want to clear it away tussling midfield with Noah Morn the substitute Bit a physical presence on Kai Jones and here's Merrin who's been one of the dangerous players for, for Ivy Bridge goes past his player easily pulls the ball back for Morgan Morgan releases a bit of pinball around the six yard box and Zabatis clears his lines that was a real chance for Ivy Pitch there. Or could have ended up anywhere. Being darker and darker out there at the moment. I've seen one of the matches that was due to play earlier has finished. I've seen uh, trophies and medals being carried past, past us. We'll see uh, logistics of having four teams, well, eight teams here on one day playing various finals very difficult especially with uh, covid regulations out there and at some stage a little later there will be player of the match which will be will be a vote on the uh, schools fa twitter page and you'll be able to Put in your votes for who you think is the player of the match. I'll, I'll be nominating two players from either team. Certainly a few of it have stood out so far. There's still plenty of action yet to go. Luca Stant, who's got a long throw, gone a little bit shorter this time. I mean, just a heavy foot on that one gives the ball back to Wade Deacon. Keeper under pressure does well there. He's looking just to nick in on the edge of that. These are teams who have both scored, a, as I mentioned right at the start of this game, a phenomenal number of goals uh, they've scored. Just none in this final. There's a long distance shot from Morgan. Good attempt. 
It's, uh, looking at Wade Deacon, this is the first time they've actually entered this competition since 2015-16. Uh, and uh, the current team dominated the county in Cheshire, actually unbeaten. Since she is seven, so they've had a great record. And here they are at national level. And it's a very good Ivy Bridge team. I was looking up a little bit of information about the... Uh, oh, brilliant skill from Jones. He's gone and played in Hodgson and a deflection and it's a corner. Well, that was Will Hodgson getting involved there. The number 10, Harry Hodgson, his twin brother. Both play at Preston North End. And uh, Will has scored 10 goals in his nine games here scored in every round of the competition and almost scored here as well that one was right on top of the goalkeeper who got a weak punch to that one but we'll be happy to have seen that one go away this way the Beacon team have won back to back Cheshire County Cups only happened on two previous occasions in the history of the County Cup and of course the, the Cheshire Cup a very 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 competitive competition he is mourned the replacement left back for Taylor Davy, who's enough to have a rest. There's a whistle from another, enough. There's a whistle from another pitch. So I think a few players stopped there, thinking it was their referee. Realised it wasn't. Stant will see that one out of play. Challenge appeal for handball. Now here comes Jeffrey Merrin. But getting cleared by Wade Deacon, but not a great ball out. Endicott. Just feel that, uh, you know, with these conditions, the rain has stopped. This isn't a play at the moment. We don't have a um, Joshua Howley there, number 16, who's uh, another substitute that's come on. Alfie Maver in goal for Wade Deacon, who's competed for the school in two national sim swimming finals. And Harry Jeffrey going down uh, under the slightest of challenges there. And the Wade Deacon team certainly. Uh, making that clear that they didn't agree with the call. Here's a chance from a set piece that is in a dangerous position now. The way Deacon have got numbers back, it's noticeable that Ivory Bridge aren't pushing big numbers up front. You can see there's six up in the box here. There's still, in fact, seven just coming in on the blind, trying to come in on the blind side on the edge, but the free kick is wasted. Deliveries have not been so great for Ivy Bridge in this final. A bit more pinball. Goalkeeper tries to switch the angle, but miss kicks the ball as well. It's you know a lot of miss kicks and scuffed challenges and scuffed balls and. And uh, oh boy, Deacon uh, wondering what that was given for. It was a player on the ground, and the referee's given Ivy Bridge a free kick. Hey, you, you 
Long distance from the goalkeeper. Andrew Salden plays with Exeter, of course. Uh, Ivy Bridge from down there. There's a number of players play with Plymouth, Argyle and Exeter. Strong, powerful header there. And here's Jeffrey to take on uh, James Musa, who's very good at breaking up play from the opposition in, as it's coming towards his defence. He's done an excellent job of that. Being uh, an annoyance left, right and centre. Merrin has to nutmeg the defender. If he had a done, he'd have been through. If we are tied at uh, full time, it will go straight to penalties. No extra time here. I don't know if we, we're going to have the light for it, to be honest. Throwing given to Ivy Bridge. Lou Price wants the ball to feet. Ivy Bridge have got a few in the box here, but they don't get the chance to deliver. Everything around there from Kai Jones is doing a fair bit of work at the back as well as up front, doing his defensive duties there. Not sure where this first goal is going to come, to be honest. And half chances left, right and centre, but nothing really clear cut. No, you price. Nice ball. Long distance effort there for from the captain Smith. Put his head up and thought he'd have a blast from 40 odd yards. Referees let that go on. And eventually gives a free kick, but I think a foot over the ball there as, as it was cleared by the defender. And uh, we're going to have a substitute just off camera. Way Deacon, but it's cleared by Ivy Bridge. Miscontrol yet again. It's been so scrappy at times, been real quality, and then so many misplaced passes. These heavy conditions here at Lillershaw. Just hearing the a coach shouting, Get it on the floor, and you just feel that there's so much ability with these two teams that really just need to get it. Get it. That's some football played. Nice play there from Harry Jeffrey, but Wade Deacon can see the throw. And that will be goal kick. Well, we're sort of 15 minutes in. Just looking at 
play of the match uh, possibilities. I really feel this game is uh, is open for somebody to take the stage and take the plaudits. And they haven't done it quite yet. Merwin gives the ball away this time. Morgan chases down. Maru Price has control. Kai Jones nicks it off him. Merrin looking for the overlap from Jeffrey. Morgan in the box. Jeffrey wins the corner. And is this the moment? It's a good bit of height in the way Deacon team, and I've found that when the ball has really been put into the into the difficult positions, that it has been way Deacon players all around the danger area. I just wonder if they'll play this a little little shorter, perhaps. Doesn't look like it. They're all lining up in the box. Here we go, short. Well, maybe I do need something after all. Now goes back to the point. Here's the shot from distance. That was going towards the corner. Important foot there. I think that would have beaten the goalkeeper. Howley. Substitute. And another throw for Ivy Bridge. And you just feel that it's the last five minutes or so. They've started putting a little bit more pressure on the way Deacon team. Leroux Price. Trying to play it on the ground, but again, another miscontrol. Harvey Bridge trying to pass the ball around. But the pace of, uh, and Kai Jones is brilliantly there to win a throw for his team. Hainback is usually hanging around up front, but was sensing that his team were needing a bit of help and got back there to win the throw. Stamp with a long throw again. Oh, and chases down, but cleared by Hooley. Seldon. He's not been able to get tremendous length with his kicks in these conditions. Here comes Morgan. Wood wanting the ball in the box. There's some players in here for Ivy Bridge. This could be dangerous. Merrin under pressure. Just got one man to beat. He might have a go. This time decides to just go for the cross in. That's a good ball to LaRue Price. And, well, a few gaps opening up here in the way Deacon defence. You can see there's certainly some calling and shouting out. Todd, the floodlights are coming on shortly here. It's getting that dark. We are midway through the afternoon, but I suppose it is also midway through October. Clocks are going to be changing shortly. And already quite dark out there. We've, uh, it's not as dark. It's darker than it looks on the camera. We've, Of course, the cameras are able to open up their irises and get more light in, and that's uh, what we've done here. It is quite dull and dismal out there, I've got to say. 20 minutes to go. And uh, referee realising 
that there was an offside that he missed out on. And he changes his mind. Jack Tierney Wade Deacon captain puts in the big ball Tending. Wade Deacon not winning those headers at the back though so often giving the possession away You losing out. Here's Jones coming in to try and keep the ball in play and almost does. The referee's on top of that. Is mourned overlapping on the left wing into Morgan. Lou Price. Lafferty Bridge just trying to keep possession for a few minutes. Long ball played in. And again, the defence is on top when those challenges are coming in. As they clear it away. It's a good ball in, but. Well, 17 minutes to go. cleared well we are uh, 15 minutes to go so we need to give you time to vote for your player of the match it's just been one where you feel the, the script has yet to be written in this game but we have got our four nominations in for Ivy Bridge number four Oscar LaRue Price and number seven Callum Merrin who both look quality players on the ball and for Wade Deacon in red number seven Kai Jones Number 10, Will Hodgson, have been the players who've really caught my eye so far in this game. But I've got to admit, it's been very, very close to being other players in there. In fact, uh, my nomination, uh, I've, I'm, I'm sorry, Will Hodgson, but I'm actually going to tweak that because, oh, there's a challenge gone in there. I'm actually going to put Jack Tierney, who's been brilliant at the back, I'm, uh, sometimes I do select too much of an attacking formation and I've got to say that Jack Teen he has been absolutely excellent all the way through this game and it would be unfair for me not to give him a nomination so you could say Will Hodgson you were in fifth place um, but uh, obviously very much in my mind on the nominations um, in the old days I used to select the man in a match altogether but of course uh, that doesn't happen anymore oh it's a free header here's a chance what a chance and a goal I 
Davy Bridge have scored. And with 15 minutes to go, Ivy Bridge are on the score sheet. The ball, there was just a lack of players around the penalty box. This is a, a nightmare, really, for a defensive side. You just, just like they almost they took their mind off the ball for a, for a second of what was going on. But the first goal of the match, just as we had the player of the match nominations, what a goal that is. It's set up for him. And Ivy Bridge lead. And now, wow, the pressure is on Wade Deacon now to do something. Let's have another look. You can see the uh, coaches in the background giving out their instructions. It was LaRue Price who won the initial header. I actually can't identify who who scored the goal there. I'll try and uh, have a look. Well, there's a mistake at the back there for Ivy Bridge. And here's a chance on the equaliser. And it's Kai Jones who scores. And it's 1 1. Well, we've gone so long without a goal. And then here we are. I was just literally showing the replay. Mistake there. A ball's played across, and here comes Kai Jones who hits it sweetly, and it beats Selden in goal, and we are one all. Two goals in a minute. Yeah, oh, it isn't football funny at times. So we're still locked. We have 12 minutes to go. And the offside flag has gone up there. Well, let's have a look at the two goals here. First goal for Ivy Bridge, flick on, Lou Price gets a header. And I'm never going to find out the number on the back of the shirt, no matter how many times I look at that. That was goal number one, and then here's goal number two. Ball played across, Kai Jones in, side foots it, and well, the goalie maybe will be a little bit disappointed about that, only he will know. The match has suddenly taken off here. Merrin does brilliantly there. One of my nominations. For the player of the match. Get yourself onto the school's football Twitter. There's the poll. Ten minutes to vote. Get yourself on the school's FA. Twitter account and get your votes in. Player just a uh, nasty little. There's uh, other player of the match nominations taking place as well out there. Ten minutes to go in this under 15 PlayStation FC Schools Cup final here at Lillishaw. Whose name is going to be on the trophy? Goalkeeper got away with a bad throw there. And now Ivy Bridge have got players committed forward here on this one. Mourned, who's certainly getting forward a lot in the second half and the big ball up but Tierney yet again has won every header out there and that will be another corner you just feel that play is starting to get a bit sloppy and 
I don't know if some of these young legs are starting to, to tire a little bit out there. It's been a, a really high-intensity match. A lot of energy has been put in by both teams here. Quite testing conditions. I think rightly so, just taking your time, taking the corners. Have a little breather out there. And Reed Price, who's got a real, uh, a real good touch on him. It's a very sweet ball we've seen a number of times. Coming out for the corner. Fills it in at the near post, under no challenge. It's a free header, there's a chance! And Jude Wood just felt he sort of pulled out of that opportunity here. Here was the ball in from Merrin. LaRue Price passes back Merrin. Really sweet cross this is. Morgan goes to the challenge, but it was Mond who won it. And Wood just couldn't get his foot around it. That definitely goes down as a chance. Well, Ivy Bridge. Connor Keane involved at the centre of things. And well, we've seen before that uh, Jacob Smith likes to have a pop from distance. Probably a ball over there from his last shot, actually, as well. But, uh, so far, not managed to find the target. Seven minutes to go. Get yourself on for. The Man of the Match nominations. Apologies, just uh, there. Slightly there on School's FA Twitter. And the referee is given another offside. But we go to penalties. That's a lovely ball again and Tierney yet again clearing up round the back. He really has been a solid figure for the Wade Deacon team here. As Ivy Bridge certainly are the team on top here. It's funny how football can be like this, but early on it was certainly more more of the Reds that were were dominating, but now it's definitely turned more into a blue tide for the Ivory Bridge team from the south. There's a misplaced pass. Wood. Poor control for himself. Well, that stays in play. It's been given up, but it's still in play out there. There's a player down at the moment as well. I think that's Wood up there for, for Ivy Bridge. And that will be a corner. Four minutes to go. There's a chance of glory. Matty Hooley 
and go to take this kick. Been a really enjoyable final here in the under 15s. So many other games have, have all stopped now. I think there's one more match taking place here. <laughs> he blows his whistle. Come on, Mary, go. Go in there. Uh, in fact, there's a couple more changes taking place. Still waiting here. Huli just wants to take this kick. All the cameras are pointing at him. Off we go. Again, cleared at the near post, just not putting the height on there. Morgan, who's work, worked his socks off all the way through this match. Poor control from Merrin. Here's Connor Keane, who's been very busy since he came on. Good ball in for Hodgson. Hodgson crosses, and Kai Jones looking to get in on the end of that. And now the counter from Ivy Bridge. Two minutes to go in this final. Straight to penalties if it's still tied. And that will be goal kick. Well, Merrin, who's been one of the outstanding players for Ivy Bridge, 15 goals from his boots so far in this competition. And, uh, well, Wade Deacon have lost count, to be honest. But uh, Marin scored three goals in his first match, scored four in the second. He's actually scored just about every round, just looking through this. He's been kept pretty quiet here today. Strong winner from McHugh there, and the goalkeeper does well to come and clear up. That was a dangerous flick on from away Deacon number nine. Final minute. And I can't actually remember a stoppage for an injury I'm just trying to think we've uh, had a couple of players down but they've tend to get back up again less than a minute Merrin back to Lou Price nice to play over the top but again cleared by Wade Deacon at the back Will Hodgson that's a great ball across to his brother but he's well there's a claim of just hit it come across the field and now Ivy Bridge on the counter attack here's Merrin looks up plays a 1-2 Tierney again breaks it up ball's gone loose there Tierney again gets involved superb play from the defender but Wade Deacon absolutely Brilliant play from the defender, and that's why he's in our Man of the Match nominations. Well, we are in to injury time, not more of um, changes going on here. Andy Ellis is on for Wade Deacon. And that one's gone straight out of play. Well, as I hear the call of two minutes has been uh, passed on by the referee. Not sure where that's come from, I'll be honest. Unless I've forgotten something, but, well, plus two graphic goes up on our screen. That's what's coming from the ground. Tierney, who's just done, done about everything, is now taking goal kicks as well, just for good measure. <laughs> Nearly hit our cameraman there. He's on a very high platform on the halfway line, as you can see. A wonderful shoulder charge from Connor Keane on Owen Murphy. Two substitutes. 
challenging midfield there. It's darker and darker out here. Jacob Smith, who again has another shot. Well, those are the other two balls from his shots, and there's the third. And as the referee blows the full-time whistle, it is now going to be penalties. So, well, it's the second match I've commentated on, and it's the second batch of penalties. And here we go. Well, while they're just uh, working those out, we're just going to play through some highlights of the match so far. I'll be back with you very shortly. Well, I don't know if you could hear the audio on there. I was having a listen in. You could hear the coaches nominating players and uh, asking who was good for it. And there's a list being uh, being worked out. Really been a cracking match here. As uh, well, here comes the the coin toss. Tong, coin toss. <laughs> the heads it is. Ivy Bridge win. They've decided where kicks are going to be. And now separate coin toss for whoever takes first or second. So there we go. Down to penalties to decide which of these two teams is going to walk away with the trophy. And they're going to go to the right-hand side goal. 
with a uh, little just a chat about the etiquette. Don't come off your line, lads. Don't do silly noises or anything as he's about to take. All those gentlemanly things. Okay, here we go. First penalty, Conor McHugh. Down the centre of the goal. First penalty to Wade Deacon. Coming up next, number eight, Jacob Smith. And Smith puts it away beautifully. And Captain scores. I think Smith actually may have been our goal scorer in the game, but uh, not 100% certain on that. Here's Hooley, and that almost saved, but it's in. Next up, Callum Merrin. to bring penalties back level at two all. Oh, and Merrin down the centre. Goalkeeper really didn't have much to do there, to be honest. And Merrin walks back, being one of the star players for Ivy Bridge. And as I was saying earlier, scored an absolute hatful of goals for his team. Now the captain, the way Deacon. This will put them 3-1 up if Tierney scores here. Goalkeeper goes early and Tierney side foots. And that's 3-1 to Wade Deacon. Really important penalty now here for Oscar Lavu Price. Scores well. Been a real pleasure seeing uh, some of these players on this pitch, and Louis Price, one of those who seems to have uh, always had that extra half second on his feet. Now, Harry Hodgson. Well, Hodgson sends the keeper the wrong way. 4-2. Tom Morgan comes up with uh, Toby Morgan apologies. Comes up with a heavy responsibility on his shoulders. He has to score here. He misses. Goalkeeper standing well to one side. If he's aware of it. Uh, he's standing a little bit to one side, but Morgan puts it into the empty side goal. And now, this is the moment for Wade Deacon. Having seen his brother put one home, it's now Will Hodgson. Number 10, who's on my nominations for player of the match. 
came back on the cheese. Come on, Andrew! Thank you. Will Hodgson, if he scores here, Wade Deacon have won. Oh, and the keeper got a hand to it, but it is all over. Wade Deacon win 5-3 on penalties. What a moment. <laughs> I'm sure you're not allowed to do that under COVID restrictions these days, but wow, what a celebration. And what a victory for Wade Deacon. Probably wasn't the best matches, one of the best matches we've seen. It's, the conditions were difficult. The players found it hard. But well, once Ivy Bridge got the first match, got the first goal Wade Deacon stepped up and got the equaliser and great to see some sportsmanship out here between the, the two teams what an incredible feat with so many teams having entered this competition at the start it's Wade Deacon who again continue their incredible unbeaten run and it's one of the Reds who will be taking the trophy back up to Cheshire and they can rightfully celebrate. Well, we just have a, a short while to wait here because there's a trophy presentation taking place on another... Well, they can celebrate, but... Uh, really enjoyable game and well two two really good teams we're just going to wait for the presentation i think the presentation parties is actually just uh, in the middle of uh, awarding prizes to another another team i'll just give you the uh, the man of the match has been awarded by the the fans and it's Kai Jones for Wade Deacon who wins the man of the match. And I've, I've got to say, I, t I do totally agree with that. If that was uh, my choice, I would have certainly given it to Kai Jones. Hugely impressed with his work rate, his abilities. And of course, when the moment came, it was him who scored the equaliser, which was not an easy chance whatsoever. But he was always sniffing. He was always in and around play, looking to get in. And, uh, well, I believe our cameraman's going to get a... <laughs> yes, thank you for that. Well, here comes the, uh, the celebrations and uh, the presentation party. Uh, of course, all uh, very socially distanced these days. There's no uh, no real uh, 
handshakes or handing of medals. It's go and pick them off, off the tables yourself these days. It's, uh, it's a very strange, different world we have out, out here, I've got to say. But it uh, looks like this may be... Uh, there's still one more match going on at the moment, but uh, we're just getting ready now for our presentations. Testing. Oh, well done, Ezra. Always nice to get a shot. Oh, slightly. Uh, there they are. Beautiful medals they are. As we wait for, uh, for our MC just to get the uh, presentation underway here. Just waiting for uh, our ESFA officials to uh, start proceedings here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we will now make the presentation of the trophy and medals on the field of play. We have the chairman of the English Schools Football Association, Phil Harding, on hand, and also the chief, chief executive of the English Schools Football Association, Andrea Chilton, who will make the presentation this afternoon. First of all, we'd like to call forward today's set of match officials and thank them for their support for this afternoon's game. So let's uh, put our hands together and show our appreciation as we call forward the referee, Ian McGuinness. Assistant referee Paul Wilcox and Roger Andrews. And the fourth official, Tom Wilson. Before we present today's medals, we're just going to make a, an award for player of the match, and this has been decided by an online poll through the viewers of ESV T who've been watching TV, who've been watching the match live this afternoon, and the viewers have voted player of the match to be Wade Deacon, number seven, Kai Jones. Congratulations to Ivy Bridge Community College this afternoon. They've contributed to another magnificent advert for schools football and a tremendous event today. So well done, guys. You should be very proud of your performance today. So let's show our appreciation for the boys as they come forward to collect their medals. Well done, boys.
and moving on to today's winners and national champions of England, Wade Deacon High School. Let's give a big cheer for the boys from Wade Deacon as they come forward to collect their medals. Well done, boys. And the captain of Wade Deacon High School, number six, Jack Tierney, will collect the trophy on behalf of Wade Deacon High School to crown them champions of England for 2020. Well, Wade Deacon will head back to Cheshire, having taken the title here in a fairly enjoyable game. But uh, commiserations to Ivy Bridge, who certainly ran it very, very close indeed. And incredible uh, well, joy in the faces here. See a few of these lads in the future for sure. In front of cameras... Uh, Maybe slightly bigger productions than what we've got here today, but uh, well, I hope you've enjoyed our coverage here on the SFA Schools Football YouTube channel as uh, West Deacon will take it home. We'll be uh, back live with action tomorrow. More games here from Liddershaw. I wish the weather was as nice as that picture we have there. But we'll say goodbye for now. My name's Adrian Battersby. Hope you've enjoyed the coverage here live from Lillishaw. Goodbye for now.